working on this thing today. So Cindy Lou came along. She told me last time it was too cold. Today though, it's uh, well over 30 degrees. What did you say it was when we left? 38. Yeah, so this stuff's going to get sloppy here pretty soon if it doesn't cool off again. It, was, it rained all day yesterday, but snowed up here at least. Well, <laughs> once again, uh, first few traps I got here are empty. The way the weather's been, there's getting to be a crust here on this snow, and it's getting hard to be up here anyway, and there's a lot going on right now, so um, I think I'm going to leave these for two more days. I've been trying to check them every other day and uh, pull them out. Well, hopefully I'll manage to snag something right at the end, but maybe not too. Might be done. If I do pull them out though, the wolf trapping season goes clear until the end of March. So I'll probably get them out someplace else. It's easier to get to. With the forest fire this year, I have not trapped at all for pine marten. And I think probably quite a few of them got burned up this summer. And I have not seen any pine marten tracks at all. Not a single set. At least we saw something, huh? in those two snares or the few traps I got left here I haven't been doing very many trapping videos here lately and that's the reason why the, there's man the snow is getting hard to walk in um, there hasn't been anything there's been really no tracks no sign of anything and empty traps um, <laughs> who wants to watch that that's not really very exciting but anyway like I say I think I'm just about done for a while anyway but next trap check maybe we'll have something and who knows last time that wolf that I finally did manage to catch was in the very last snare and I've still got I think 10 more to check here today. Well, you never know. Nothing else. A lot of birds and a few coyotes are getting some use out of that roadkill deer. And these are all empty. Another one, this angle here is hard to see. 
in the tree there. And the one that had the wolf in it is right there. They're hard to see, which is kind of what makes them effective. And uh, from what I've heard, you really shouldn't with wolves mark your mark your snares. But boy, they can be hard to spot again, even for the guy that put them there. So I've got a small piece of red ribbon fairly high up on the tree on all of these. Didn't seem to make any difference. The wolf got into it right there anyway. From this angle, I don't want to leave tracks and get closer, but the, from this angle, there's a pretty good trail that runs right down through here and through that snare, down through that snare, and through those two there, and then on the other direction. I've got some below over here. And up here in this kind of brushy spot, I got a little bit of bait. I got a deer rib cage and some other stuff up there that kind of helped to attract them a little bit. When I when I set the traps here, the snares here originally, the reason why I put them here was uh, the wolves had come through this spot twice earlier this year, and. Uh, I figured, well, they've done it twice, they should be back a third time, and, and they did, and I ended up with the one. But since then, I have seen really nothing. And I don't know, the the little group, little pack that the, that one came out of, uh, I think only had two or three in it. I know one other trapper, they caught one probably out of the same bunch, but he caught it before I did, so I don't know. And then there's, you know, it's real possible that there might be a couple more that I never heard about. So these wolves might not even be here anymore. But others will move in and fill their, take their place, but probably not this year. Sure grateful for the use of this thing. Without it, I don't know if I'd be getting up here anymore. And Cindy would definitely not come along with the... With the snowmobile or the motorized dog sled, would you? No. <laughs> you having fun though? Yeah. Good.